It is Sunday, July 2nd. We're here in Cokeville, Wyoming, getting some gasoline. Next stop is gonna be Jackson, Wyoming. Just got to the visitor center. Trying to get some merchandise. Pretty sweet views. Another billionaire coming in. Sitting in traffic. Thank you. Just got to Coulter Bay Village, gonna get our cabin. Okay, we got cabin 454, and they're printing grizzly bears right next to it, so that's fantastic. Uh, really close to the marina. I'm gonna see if we can do something later today. It's about three o'clock, but so far so good. Got a pretty sweet view of a mountain. The restaurant's there, and we got the Chevy Big Block room. Single bed, two doubles. Pretty nice setup. We're right next to the restaurant, which is right next to the marina. We're gonna check it out. The Bay Marina. Pretty cool seeing some wake boats out here. We saw one actually out in the lake earlier. We just got a kayak rental, a couple hour rental. They stopped renting out at 4.45 p.m. and it's about 4.30 now. Pretty nice wake boats out here. Another aeronautique made in Orlando. Another Orlando made boat, Regal, just for you, Joe. We just finished kayaking. We're gonna get some dinner at this pizzeria. Supposedly it's open to around 9 p.m. or so every night. Pretty convenient if you're gonna do a long hike. We're at the Willow Flats Overlook, checking out some of the views before sunset, I'm trying to see some wildlife. He's rolling, man. Two of them are rolling around. It's gonna be a while.
We're gonna have sunset over here at Snake River to finish our first day. So tomorrow we're gonna to start some hiking. It's Monday, July 3rd. Pretty early in the morning here to get some breakfast before we start hiking. Getting the breakfast buffet. Looks like we got ourselves a bear. Okay, we just parked, gonna walk to the trailhead for the Death Canyon Trail. Nice creek. We're pretty sure our car wouldn't have been able to make it over here. They recommended 4x4. But we got some bear spray. Definitely don't be running with one of those. So it's gonna be a couple hour hike minimum. We just got to the Felt Lakes overview. It's pretty sick. So this hike, you gotta go up for a bit and now we're losing all the elevation down to the lake where there's gonna be, I think, an intersection to go around the lake or through the canyon. So we're gonna see if we can go through the canyon today. like the aggro crag. Lake's there and we're gonna try to go between those two mountains into that canyon. We're getting some elevation again, getting closer to the canyon. Right there. We got you some fresh snow melt. Get closer to the top. to the top. Now if you don't make it across, you can immediately slide right down. Survived. So we're in the canyon, just got up. It's probably the best spot for a lunch, but we're gonna keep walking see if there's anything better up here, but it looks like it just basically levels out to some force.
So we're two hours into our hike. There's this cabin here. Supposedly that's the end of the trail. There's a little viewpoint about 100 yards beyond it is what we were told. So we're gonna check that out and then head back. It says private residence, do not enter. Someone's like sleeping in a hammock next to the cabin. Don't know if it's a ranger. I'm just gonna walk up about 100 yards and then turn back around. This meadow just past the cabin is probably the best place to uh, get some photos and turn back. Try some scrambling. Okay, we did a little bit of scrambling, turned around, saw a couple caves. You don't want to run into a mountain lion or a bear. We're gonna go back to the car and try to see if we do some more hiking later today. Just got to the junction with Phelps Lake. We looks like we got a storm coming, so we gotta head out pretty quickly. Got a nice gray mirror effect from all the storms forming overhead. We hear some thunder back there. It just started raining a little bit. ASMR. Rain stopped about the last 15 or so minutes. We got to the parking lot. It's about four and a half hours round trip. I'm trying to figure out what to do the rest of the day. Maybe another hiking trip if weather permits, or maybe just check out some wildlife viewing spots. Here at Mormon Row. I got some of these buildings.
got some ducks out there. Back at Oxbow Bend turnout, see if we can find some bald eagles, but it's a little too early for that probably. Got somebody out here powder boarding, which is pretty cool. End of day two, it's about 9.20 p.m. sunset. Marine is nice and quiet, pretty cool. Pictures here at night. Tomorrow, 4th of July, I'm gonna check it out. It is Tuesday, 4th of July. Here to check out Jackson Lake Lodge, and then maybe try to do some bike riding a little bit later. This place has an incredible view. Very sweet view. See if we can do some dinner here at some point. This is pretty sweet metal replica of the mountain range. And if you want, you can get it for $25,000. A lot of shops upstairs and grand gifts. Leaving the lodge now, going to Jenny Lake, and I guess the UK Wildcats are showing up for some reason. Kind of cool. We spotted a bald eagle flying into these trees. You can see him right there in the middle. Move his head about a little bit next to the Jackson Lake Dam. Next stop is the Signal Mountain Lodge on the way to Jenny Lake Lodge. Just got the Jenny Lake Overlook on the way to the Jenny Lake Visitor Center. Here at Jenny Lake Lodge for some lunch. The parking is only available for people that come here for lunch or are actually staying the night. So you have to go inside, get a parking pass from the hostess, come back out to your car. And some nice 4th of July decorations. Deer flapping his ears back there. Just pulled up to the Jenny Lake Visitor Center, see if we can get some bicycles.
no bicycle rentals over at the Jenny Visitor Center, but here at Dornan's, we got some places you can rent some bikes, take them out for a bit, so we'll see if we can do that. Bikes are $24 an hour, $51 for five hours. Pretty nice shopping and restaurants here. Great views. Don't know if we're gonna be doing bike riding. It seems quite a bit since we're gonna be going hiking a lot tomorrow. Dornan's General Store. We're back at Coulter Bay Village, decided against the bike riding, gonna try to do some hiking nearby our cabin. Also check out the center, we haven't really had a chance to look at it yet. Back at the Jackson Lodge, hope we can get some dinner here. Pretty good views. Got rejected by the other restaurant. We need the reservations. So, food at the diner. Some pretty good Fourth of July burgers at the grill. Just gonna chill out here and then head back for the hotel and tomorrow hiking. It's Wednesday, July 5th, 8 a.m. Back at the Jenny Lake Visitor Center. Gonna get on the Cascade Trail. Pretty empty right now for parking, so it's pretty good to come early. But it might be end up being like an eight hour hike. So we're gonna see if we could just walk the lake instead of taking the boat across it. So we're right there, we're gonna go around the lake, and then up Cascade Canyon. You can take a boat, but we're gonna try walking it. 8.45 a.m. about to get started. I'm going on the lake. Here's the boat shuttle you can take. I think it's $12 one way, $20 round trip. <laughs> 20 minutes into our hike, we got told by some other hikers, there's a moose over at Moose Pond, so it's pretty cool to see that. We got one moose here, chilling. Up top, we got a baby moose. And then over there, we got the other moose chilling in the water eating. Just got the inspiration point. Okay, so this is inspiration point, not the other place down there. So with breaks and the moose pond detour, it takes about an hour, 45 minutes to get to inspiration point.
Less than 200 yards to go. Okay, there's a ton of snow we gotta get through first. Okay, one hour later, we're basically here. It's just a bunch of snow. I think hopefully over this little ridge we'll be able to see an actual lake instead of just ice. Mostly frozen. Five and a half hours in the parking lot.
Lake Solitude definitely worth the hike. Nine miles, a little over five hours. Cold? I mean, it's basically just above freezing. Ooh. Yeah, it's ice cold. Fourth of July weekend snowball, man. Oh, fuck. Yeah. All right. Good dude. <laughs> as soon as I start taking video, you <laughs> can. <laughs> Oh yeah. Hey boy. What you doing? Oh. Oh, there he is. Popped out of his hole. Yeah, dude. Get it, dude. He's just chilling. Guy. Hey, guy. Straight chilling. Just chilling. All right. Fair enough, dude. Eat up. Eat up. We're back at the junction with Cascade Canyon. It took about an hour and three minutes to descend from the snow at the top. Got about six and a half more miles to go to the parking lot. Moose, straight ahead. We're still descending, hour 45 from the top, 45 minutes from the junction, taking a little rest. Probably the best place to take a rest on the way up or down for lunch. Or just a snack. Back at Inspiration Point, two hours and 20 minutes from the top. We're gonna take a little break here. Hopefully it takes us only an hour and a half to get back down. Two hours and 35 minutes from the top. Here's the junction for the boat and the Jane Lake Trailhead. We're gonna go back on the trail. So if we get back to the parking lot in about an hour. We just got to the end of the trailhead. Next to where the boat launches out of. 
It is a little bit after 6 p.m., so nine and a half hours or so round trip. 30 minutes to the top of the ice lake, five and a half hours up, three and a half hours down. So we're gonna see if we can get some food and then take it easy the rest of the day. Post hike, Jenny Lake store, gonna get some slushies. Heck yeah, man. Back at the pizzeria for dinner. We're gonna try out Happy Place. Got a full pizza to split between us. So that wraps up our last day at Teton. Tomorrow, Yellowstone. This pizzeria has a bear-proof garbage can specifically for pizza boxes. Pretty cool.